In this example, we are interested in the transfer function between the input R and output Y. This block diagram is fairly complicated to simplify. Let's start by identifying blocks that can be simplified without any further manipulation. We can see that a G3 and H1 can be simplified, and K4 and H2 can also be simplified or combined. The difficulty may be the fact that we have sums with three inputs, but those are equivalent to two sums, each having two inputs. Let's look at the first one on the right. This sum can be simplified as two other sums. And you can rewrite the same problem as follows. One sum for the signal coming from K6, and another sum for the feedback loop. This is equivalent to the three input sum that we had before. Now it's obvious that a G3 and H1 can be simplified in a single feedback loop. And the function here is G3 over 1 minus G3 H1. Now let's look at the other sum on the left. This sum can also be split into two sums. 1 for K4 and 1 for R. Of course, these two here have negative signs to keep the same signal. Now let's look at how we can simplify K4 and H2. If the signal here is called A, the signal after K4 is K4 times A, and the signal after H2 is H2 times A. Does the signal after the sum, right there, is H2A plus K4A, both multiplied by negative 1. So if you now factor A, we can see that H2 and K4 can simply be added together. Now let's rewrite this block diagram using the two simplifications that we identified, starting with R of S. R of S feeds a sum. And the input to that sum is k4 times h2, one of the simplifications that we did in the last slide. The output here goes to g1. The output of g1 goes to g2. The output of g2 goes to a sum. Now here, the output of the sum is the simplification of G3 and H1, which is G3 divided by 1 minus G3 H1. This is Y of S, which is the signal needed in this block. We still have to deal with K5 and K6. Notice that if we just write K5 and K6 as they stand now, there will be no further simplification. But if we move the peak off point of K5 past G2, we'll be able to combine G1 and G2, and also combine K5 and K6 eventually. If we now want to move the peak off point past G2, we need to manipulate the block K5 to maintain the same signal. If the signal at this point is A, the signal past K5 is K5 a. But if we now move the peak off point past G2, the signal would become K5A times G2, because now A passes through G2 before going to K5. So to maintain the same signal, we'll need to divide K5 by G2. So again, if the signal before G2 is A, the signal that comes out of this new block now becomes A times G2 times K5 divided by G2. G2 cancels out and we are back with K5A. So by doing this little maneuver, we keep the same signal flow. And now we can complete the block diagram with the remaining parts.
Now we can simplify G1 and G2. We're starting with the input. We can simply multiply them. G1 times G2. And now let's take a look at how we can simplify the remaining two blocks. Let's do that by looking at the signal that comes in this part of the circuit. The signal there is a combination of three signals. The signals that come from this line plus the signal that comes from this line and plus the signal that comes from this line. By adding all three, we get the signal past that sum. Now notice the signal coming from the orange line passes through K5 over G2 and through K6. We can multiply them in the same block and feed that to a sum. And the signal that comes from the green path is simply Y times K6 fed into another sum. Or we could simply feed them in the same sum. This doesn't change anything. So what I did here was simply move K6 past that sum. They had to then split that into two. You notice that the signal that we have here is exactly the same as they had before, and now the simplification is easy to do. Let's again start with R of S. And now let's look at this block K5, K6, G2. If the signal here is A, the signal past the sum is A plus A times K5, K6 over G2. So if you now factor out A, we have A1 plus K5, K6 over G2. So this is equivalent to taking A at this point here and multiplying that by 1 plus K5, K6 over G2. Now moving on, we have a feedback loop here between K6, G3, and 1 minus G3, H1. In this feedback loop, if we call the line function here, capital A, and the feedback function B, the combination of this feedback loop will be A over 1 minus AB, which is G3 over 1 minus G3, H1, divided by 1 minus K6, G3, 1 minus G3, H1. By simplifying this, we get G3 over 1 minus G3, H1 minus K6, G3. And this is the function that replaces that feedback loop. We can now finally close the loop, Y of S. And all the simplification becomes easy. We can now multiply all the elements in the main loop. It's K5, K6 plus G2 divided by 1 minus G3, H1 minus K6, G3. And we can now close the loop with the feedback function. K4 plus H2. The final step in the simplification now is only one feedback loop. Let's call the line function A and the feedback function B. This becomes A over 1 plus AB. So Y of S over R of S is A divided by 1 plus AB times B. And this simplifies to this big expression. The last term here is they're multiplied. 
And this is the transfer function between the input and the output of the system.